A few months ago, the world did not know anything called coronavirus, but that is the subject matter today in every discussion. The world has recorded about 331,000 cases with some 15,000 deaths. Here in Ghana, our recorded cases stands above 20. Now, this has compelled the government to take drastic measures in dealing with the spread of coronavirus. Now, I am not taking my preventive measures lightly at all, as you can well see. Now, as part of these measures, the local government ministry is spearheading a disinfection exercise across all markets in Greater Accra region. Now, today on the City Newsroom, we will be monitoring these exercises across the markets and be asking questions as to the significance of this in the fight against coronavirus. My name is Premier Dunyame and this is the City Newsroom. Right, so I'm currently here at the Abu Gloshi Market, one of the markets earmarked for the disinfection exercises. Now, getting here is around 6.10. Now, I can see some market women display their words. You know, you can see some yam sellers, you can see some tomato sellers as well. I'm going to get closer to them and find out why they have decided to display their words, knowing very well today um, is the day for the disinfection exercise and for that matter, all markets should be closed. Ndugwetiamimi <laughs> So Christy is a tomato seller who decided to display her words this morning due to the huge um, cost of tomatoes. So her argument was to display, sell a little bit, and then when the exercise is about to begin, she packs off. Now there's another trader, also here, another tomato seller. Good morning, Nete saying. Okay, near Frost saying. Aisha, Aisha day. Aisha Mohammed. Aisha Mohammed. Aisha, now we are the market. Aisha, I'm going to Okay, now, and now we are the market. Oh, yeah, but you are not an air fire. And yet, yeah, 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 say. And I am making you until a year say the question until the neighbor. Yes, I am by you. Okay. And this is here. Oh, 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 yeah, day. Yeah, patch it. Right, so you can clearly see that. The market women are also trying to devise some kind of strategy in also marketing their words because according to them, their goods are just getting spoiled and so they just have to find a way to also sell their stuff. This is the City Newsroom on City TV. So it's 6.45 Monday morning and um, there's not much activity here at the Agbo Bloshi market. Shops are pretty much closed and um, you don't really see a lot of traders at work now as you can see this is the main entrance to the yam market and it is obvious that due to the exercise the market is closed the gate is closed and uh, locked but i'm going to use this small um, route here and go inside find out from the few people i can meet what they are doing there and why they are even um, at, at work in the first place okay so i can see one shop partially opened i'm going to find out who is inside and how come that shop is opened hello good morning good morning sister. how are you I'm doing well. your name is i'm king james king james welcome to the city news show you're welcome why are you in the market today uh, i'm not in the market you can see my shop is closed today we are not working because of the filming this is is going on around the market so today we are not working okay. so how do you receive the news of the disinfection exercise i received the news through media and what a few newspapers who so received the news that was is it three days ago or so okay. and how do you feel about it yes, we are okay with it because from getting the whole markets i think it will be good for us we have rodents in the markets what a few so if they forget it i think it will be good for spreading the coronavirus okay. where do you live i live at uh, Kualigono. okay so why are you here today i'm going right now so why did you come here i did i did not come i, I slept here because oh, okay. to protect my shop oh. 
So we are still here at the Agboglo Sheep Market. Now, right behind me is the team that is going to be um, engaging in the disinfection exercise. Let me talk to the team lead and get more insight into this. Good morning. Welcome to the City Newsroom. Thank you, madam. All right. So what exactly do you want to achieve with this exercise? Right now, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So we have to do the disinfestation mm -hmm. so that it will help us so that the virus cannot attack us. Mm. This is how we are coming to protect Ghana. Now, how often are we going to be doing this exercise? This uh, disinfestation is good for us. But the government have to support us mm -hmm. and give us the logistics so that we use the logistics to work. After, when we, we do this, well, I mean, either two, three months, the government have to give us the logistics or the money so that we continue. Right, so right behind me is the truck that just offloaded the um, spraying machines and the chemicals for the disinfection exercise. Now you can see a lineup of everything that is going to be used. The team is also right here, just so prepared and in full gear, ready to embark on the disinfection exercise. Now this is the Ablekuma Central, where you can find the Agbo Bloshi Market, one of the biggest markets in Accra. It is also earmarked for the disinfection exercise. And so we are here to observe how the exercise will go and still find answers as to what happens after today. This is the City Newsroom on City TV. So we are still here at the Agboblo Sheep Market where the disinfection exercise is being taken place. Now I have here with me the president of the Greater Accra Regional Markets Association and I'm going to be talking to her about what she makes of this whole exercise. You're welcome to City Newsroom. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Honorable Messi Nafruwane Jan, the president of Greater Accra Markets Association. All right. Honorable, tell me what you make of this whole disinfection exercise today. In fact, we are highly, uh, we are happy for today because it started on Friday and we decided that to, today, which is Monday, is the appropriate time because it's an emergency. This is not time for us to go to the market, organize the women, talk yes and no. No, this is an emergency, so we have to take an emergency decision. And we took that on behalf of our association. And by the grace of God, the women have complied. I've been to so many markets this morning, just checking, and every market was free for the workers to do their work. So we thank God, and we hope that if we sacrifice today, for the uh, uh, this is praying of the market and we get our market back tomorrow to do our business it's far better for us to sit down and at the end of the day they will ask all market to be closed so you can currently see behind me that this infection exercise being done every corner is being covered to make sure that the chemicals get to everywhere that is supposed to be. Now you can see the military supervising the whole exercise. This is the Agbobloshi market and the exercise is really in full force. In your shots right now is a team being led by the chief of defense staff, all the commanders. Now we have the to inspect the exercise being done here today. We are still here at the Agbo Sheep Market and the spraying has so far been very smooth. We have all authorities coming here to check what is being done. Oh, so how is it so far? Oh, it's, been, it's been good. Okay. Uh, without you, I'm not too sure how we could have started this whole exercise. Uh, the discipline that you imbibe it as right from the onset. It helped the deployment done very swiftly. Um, a few delays, but uh, it's not a big issue because in every market you have a team yeah. that will be spraying. And because it's a whole day activity, even if we do not start on time as at um, um, 6 a.m. that we schedule, um, currently in every market in Accra, we have a team doing some work over there. Fortunately, we have some drones that are also doing their own thing to help at Edison. Your men have been around. At Bublishi Market, it's the, it's the most challenging area because you have all manner of people here. This is where the traders are many. And this 
a lot of the markets are also open. You have all kinds of people who squat in the market. Well, we've come here as a follow-up to our discussion. Yes. And uh, what we are doing is in line with the President's directive that the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development should coordinate with you gentlemen, metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies to ensure cleanliness in all the mar uh, markets. As one of the many steps that he's taking to ensure we get over this COVID-19 pandemic. It is very, very important that everybody cooperates in this exercise. Uh, we should take advantage of the absence of so many people here to actually also clean up. Yes. Yeah, I see a lot of debris around. So there's a need for a clean up in addition to the doing the disinfection of the markets. And I expect that this will be taken up by your good selves. Right now, I heard you talk to the mayor about the cleanliness of the market. Mm. I mean, it's quite obvious the debt that we are recording. Yeah. Beyond today, what would you advise you see? It will be a routine thing that we expect the district assemblies to do. Cleaning up the markets and our various environments, maintaining hygiene is critical for our own good and for the good of the community. He has promised that this is simultaneous. I believe that by the end of the day, we would have seen some vast, vast improvement in what we are doing. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you very much. Press. So we just had the security commanders here being led by the chief of defense staff. Now he just had an engagement with the AMA boss. Now you heard him clearly say that he's quite impressed with work done so far. Now beyond today, he's also looking at we taking very um, active measures in dealing with the filth that we record in our market. But so far, as far as today's disinfection exercise is concerned, his men have been on the um, have, have been at work, you know, supporting the AMA and the Ministry of Local Government in general. I mean, augmenting government's efforts in dealing with the coronavirus. This is the City Newsroom on City TV.